Hey peeps, welcome back to Project Anonymous, and in today's video, we're gonna make ourselves a bag tag. So stick around to see how we do. <laughs> So to prepare for our bag tag, we went ahead and designed the shape and outline of what we want the bag tag to look like, and then we went ahead and engraved it. Right, so we used the laser engraver to our advantage here to cut out, or at least outline a shape that we wanted in a marine vinyl that we're gonna use for this bag tag. And really, it's overkill, but we didn't wanna end up having to like cut, cut out with scissors. A, per a perfect circle later with, with scissors. So mm -hmm. we ended up using the laser engraver just to simplify uh, for us being able to trace out and, and cut out our design. And if you don't have the fancy tools, that's totally fine. You can probably just freehand it or burn it and then you get like a nice shape. Absolutely. It might even be better. <laughs> yeah. Rather than redesigning our design from scratch, we're just gonna use the one we use from our hat project. We're just going to open it up in Inkscape here. And we're going to copy it and open up a new one in a new template. Command C for copy. New from template. We're going to use our 4x4 hoop. And then paste it. Good. And now what we're going to do is rotate it because we want it to stitch out straight like that. To right. rotate it, you just click it again mm -hmm. and then you can rotate it. We'll bring up the arrows. So that looks pretty straight right there. Mm -hmm. Now what I'm going to do is resize it and hit control and drag this out till we get to two about... Two inches? Yeah, we don't want to go larger than two inches because that's the size of diameter of our circle on our tag. We'll go one and three quarters. And we're just going to put this here, just like that. And we're done with that part of the design. Now all we have to do is save it. We'll save it as a zip file and save it as a PES in SVG. Yep. So bag tag one, save. And now we can go ahead and do our lettering GUI for the back of it. Yep. So we're going to use the same thing here. You can use our keyboard shortcut. Shift Control L. Now we'll just bring up our lettering GUI. And we pick need to pick a font. font. That was good. This is your tag. So we'll put Megan. Looks good. Mm -hmm. Now we will go ahead and resize this because this is going to be much too big. Hit control again, and we'll get this under two inches. Shift, change the color of the stroke. And then we're gonna save this as our bag tag two. Zip file, save. Okay. Now we can export these to the machine. Let's go. So we went ahead and hooped our marine vinyl Mm -hmm. And it's kind of like a leather material, it's a little thicker, so we had to change our needle for that. Yeah, we changed it to a 9014 needle, which is um, used for thicker, denser materials like leather. And we set this up, and the advantage of using the laser engraver to burn out the shape of this is we can get this perfectly lined up straight uh, with our, our hoop and then get it into the right area. Yeah, we um, hooped it in our 4x4 four four hoop with some nice tearaway stabilizer. So let's get to embroidering. Mm -hmm. Let's go. All right, so the embroidery finished for our part one, and it turned out really nice. And I can take it out because we're not going to take it out of the hoop. What we're going to do is we're going to load our second file embroider out upside down here so that when we pinch this together and sew it together it will be right side up. Mm -hmm. So like a plane? Mm -hmm. Alright so now we can get to embroidering the second file. Let's add on the 
machine. Turned out really nice. Exactly what we wanted, right? Yes. Yeah. Tear this off. So, um, how are you going to cut it out? Very carefully. What's good though is when we put it in the laser engraver, it actually kind of cut it along there, if you can see that. So it's actually a really nice cut, perfectly where we want it. And now we're just gonna use the little razor blade there to finish the job there. And then we'll be able to kind of fold this on itself and do a nice stitch along the edge. And then we can put our buttons on. Mm -hmm. cool. Sounds like a plan. All right. So we've done some testing and I think we're ready to put on some buttons. And we purchased this All Rights Snap Fastener Kit um, on Amazon. And we'll put the link in the description. Uh, but it comes with the tools that you need to fasten on buttons. And it came with a bunch of different buttons. But we went ahead and took out the pieces that we need for this project. So we'll move this off to the side. We have all our tools in front of us. And the first step is to punch out a hole. So. Here's our little punch tool. And we're just gonna stick the hole where we think we need it. I think right there is right in the middle. All right, one sec. All right, Megan, do the honors. It's just to put a nice little hole in there. So we're gonna end up using this piece here and then the snap here goes on the other side of it and then you end up just smashing it together so it sticks and then we'll put the other side on this and we'll have a nice little snap just like that all right so let's get smashing so we're supposed to use this little convex tool which will spread that out <laughs> That snap is on. Next, we're gonna punch the hole on this side. Put that right in the middle. On this side. These pieces go on here. We're gonna smash this together. That'll be perfect. So there we are. We have our snaps installed very firmly, very nicely, very professional, Megan. It's, yeah, it's very nice. And more, most importantly, it works. Woo! It snaps in place. So now we have our bag tag. It looks super nice. Pretty good for a weekend project. Mm -hmm. I do wish we changed the bobbin thread colors so it's not white. and. We don't sew very well, we've learned. <laughs> we, we embroider okay, but we do not sew very well. Not in a straight line, but that, that's okay. First thing we completely forgot to do was change our bobbin into a matching color thread as the front. So we ended up using our embroidery bobbin, which is just a, Plain a white. white. Yeah. So that was frustrating afterwards to see that we, we did that wrong. Mm -hmm. The second lesson we learned is we don't sew that well. Not not even a little. You don't well, sew. I guess it was me. <laughs> but yeah, trying to follow this circle around, um, 
it wasn't working out for me so well. So it didn't turn out great looking, but it's okay. Mm -hmm. It's rustic. Mm -hmm. We can always try again, maybe a different time. Yeah. See how it turns out. Also what we learned, the embroidery machine did very well embroidering this marine vinyl. Uh, we did, you know, again, use the 9014 needle, which is kind of shaped like a, a little shovel or a spade that punctures through very nicely, and we didn't have any hang-ups, no, yeah, no uh, thread breakage or anything like that. So it actually embroidered very nicely uh, going through this thicker material, so that mm -hmm. was good. And then lastly, our little button kit that we got turned out okay, not, mm -hmm. not that bad. We it tested it. Before yeah, we did we test did beforehand on a scrap piece, which you should always do. Um, but I did find the little tool that puts this top clip on. Annoying. It's a little annoying. It doesn't <laughs> flatten out completely. So I had to use a punch that I already had to get in that, to get that flat out. Flat. To get that flat. You can probably still use a tool, but we just wanted the best um, results we could get. Yeah, we want tight buttons. Mm -hmm. there, so. Anyways much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video please like it if you liked it like it subscribe if you enjoy our content subscribe and turn on those notifications so you get my every single time we post a video stay crafty and be happy bye